Hey there good people, welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Cannot believe it, we are beyond the halfway point. We are on day 14 of Vlogmas and my mind is blown. In today's video, I wanted to pull a page right out of my journal and share it with all of you in case you're also working on just orienting yourself and getting yourself ready to enter a new year. At this point, we're what, like two weeks out from 2021 and I know that we're all re ready and eager to leave 2020 behind because it's been a year, but also that there's still some unfinished business lingering in 2020. I have a list of six things that I need to do before the end of the year so we got like 14 days 15 you guys know I don't do math so the first thing that I really want to do before the end of the year is go through the apartment and do some decluttering but also taking stock of stuff that I know I'm gonna be keeping in the new year and stuff that I know I can plan to get rid of one of my biggest projects I think for 2021 is gonna be really finishing the look and feel of the apartment, especially in my bedroom. My bedroom needs a lot of work. I want to go through and make note of any furniture that I can give away, any furniture that I need to toss because it's just not good. Like this couch has to go. I also feel like I've switched my wardrobe over to like 90% loungewear and I know there are things that I'm either never going to wear again or won't fit the same so I need to go through all of my clothes and just kind of get rid of all that stuff too. I'm really lucky that I have a younger sister who's usually more than happy to take stuff that I don't want anymore and I'm sure there are people who could really use some of the things that are still in good shape that I don't have use for anymore. The goal of that is just to make room for the new, the fresh, the renewed and get rid of stuff that I don't need to be holding on to in the new year. And when I say declutter, I know I talk a lot about my physical space, but I also mean mentally and spiritually. So do a little internal cleansing as well. Okay, the second thing I wanna do before 2021 gets here is spend some time reflecting on 2020. If you watched yesterday's Vlogmas video, you know I gave you guys some journal prompt that you can work through if you're also trying to reflect on the previous year. I just think it makes a lot of sense to look back before you go forward. You don't wanna, you know, close out anything with any unfinished lingering business and you don't want to bring unnecessary things into the new year so it's better to just lay it all on the table sort through what you have and then move forward from there so i've already done a little bit of reflecting in my journal but i still think while the year is ending especially during the holidays when we're spending so much more time thinking about what we're grateful for focused on family focused on tradition and the spirit of the season even though this holiday looks completely different than other holidays have looked it just feels like a really good time to reflect on all that this year has brought the good and the bad and decide what needs to come with me into the next year the third thing that i really need to do before this year is over is finalize my 2021 goals a few vlogs back i showed you guys the power sheets goal planner that i'm going to be using to set and track my goals but i'm still kind of in that brainstorm phase about what those goals are even going to be for me, one thing that has always helped me narrow down my goals is putting them into categories. So there's like business, personal, life, career, health, spirituality, home, just so I can kind of divvy up where I need to be setting which goals and where and why. And I don't end up setting goals that I know I don't really care about or I'm not really going to focus on if I'm able to sort them into those individual categories. The fourth thing I need to do before 2020 is over is spend some time connecting and just appreciating the people in my life obviously that has to be done virtually for the most part because of the situation that we're currently in globally but i don't want to end the year out without really letting the people who i love know that i love them especially i think this year has made us realize how much we should not take the ability to express love for the people in our lives for granted because now we're doing it all through screens. I love getting mail that's not bills, so I'm going to be really intentional about this week getting my Christmas cards in the mail so that people who I would normally get to see around this time of year that I'm not going to get to see can at least get a little something from me to know that they're on my mind and I'm thinking of them. I'm trying to set up a couple of end of year Zoom happy hours and coffee dates too just because I think it just helps right now as you close out a year to really remember the people who were in your corner in the previous year that you want to still be in your corner in the next year. 
Even though I really wish that I could do this in person because nothing makes me happier than being able to connect with all my friends and meet up for coffee and catch up that way but hopefully in the next year or so we'll be able to do that normally again and get back to that in-person connection that I know a lot of us are really really missing lately. The fifth thing that I need to do before the end of the year and this is absolutely a non-negotiable is set up my next bullet journal. I think this will be like my fifth or sixth bullet journal notebook and at this point I'm like so far in I could not go back to using just like a regular planner I don't think. It's just I really I actually considered it for this year and every time I would look at a planner I was like oh it would be perfect if it just had this this and that and then I realized those are all things that I've already figured out how to do with my bullet journal so it wasn't worth it. I even went as far as to look into one company that kind of lets you customize like really really customize your spreads and I realized I was essentially building a bullet journal and paying three times the price. So we're sticking to the bullet journal in 2021. I was hoping it would be here by now but I've already ordered my next notebook and I'm going to unbox that and show it for you guys all in a separate vlog and I'm also going to show you how I'm setting up my notebook but if you want to see how I've set up bullet journals in the past I'll link my I think it's my 2019 setup yeah my 2019 bullet journal setup and I also have a playlist with a couple more bullet journal videos so if you're interested in that I will also link that down below and the last thing I want to do before 2021 gets here is celebrate like it's the holidays it's the end of the year yes this year is different and <sighs> a game changer and a real doozy of a year and I'm not necessarily celebrating the way that I would want to I'd want to be able to be around more of my family and my friends and bring in the new year with people and you know be able to go out if I want to or even let's be real stay in if I want to but with more people and I can't do that this year but I have so much to be grateful for and so much to celebrate I am going to get to see my parents on Christmas so I just want to end the year on the highest note possible and celebrate and be grateful and be glad that you know I'm seeing another year with the people that I love because that is nothing to take for granted. In the comments let me know if there's anything that you're trying to check off your list before the new year, how you planned on ending the year on a high note. If you're not already subscribed make sure you do that and turn notifications on so you never miss when I upload another vlog. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.